my favorite application on DeFi to explain to normal people when I try to explain what DeFi is, is Uniswap. First of all, it's the most used DeFi application on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, but secondly, it's a very elegantly designed product uh, in its simplicity. Um, so in this video, I'm going to try to take 10 minutes and explain three things. What is Uniswap? Why is it better than other types of exchanges? And how does it actually work? So first of all, what is it? Well, in simple terms, it's a way to swap between cryptocurrencies. So from one token to another. So let's say I wanted to buy one Ether, uh, the native currency of the blockchain Ethereum. I can just plug in one and I'm going to get a price here from Uniswap on how much I have to pay to get one Ether. So that's really what it is in its simplest form. Uh, there's another way to interact with Uniswap, and that is to provide liquidity on Uniswap. That means you're actually the one putting up the capital that other traders can then trade against. And so I'll get back to this a little bit later in the video uh, and how that works. So why is this better than other forms of exchanges? So to answer this, I'm going to try to use this nice diagram that was made by Tetranode on Twitter. You should definitely follow him. He is extremely knowledgeable about Uniswap, not just the theory, but he's actually also one of the biggest users of Uniswap. So definitely go and follow him on Twitter. So why is it better than other exchanges? So let's compare this to an airport exchange. You might want to travel to Japan, for example, from the US and you're exchanging US dollars to yen. Uh, so this exchange booth, uh, well, there are some costs associated with, associated with running this, this exchange. First of all, it has to rent the actual lot, you know, where, where it has the booth. Second, it has to pay employees. And third, it has to spend a lot of money on compliance. So know your customer, anti-money laundering, etc. And this adds up to a lot of overhead. And what does it mean that it has overhead in costs? Well, ultimately, that translates to worse rates for you as the consumer and the user of that exchange booth. So really, you're going to get pretty bad prices if you go to an exchange uh, at an airport to convert your US dollars to yen. So how is Uniswap different? Well, first of all, it's digital. It's, it's natively digital. It's running on the Ethereum blockchain and you access it through a web browser. So you don't have to rent any offices for Uniswap. Uh, there are no employees because it's totally autonomous. It runs through a smart contract and there's no, really no compliance costs to be paid because there's no central company running Uniswap. It's totally distributed on the Ethereum blockchain. And so let's talk a little bit about how it actually works. So in the traditional exchange, there's someone quoting you the price. So they're saying, I'm willing to give you this amount uh, of yen for you know, that amount of dollars that you're giving me. And they would typically do that by looking at, you know, the supply and demand, looking at other exchanges and so on. Um, with Uniswap, it's quite different the way it works. Uh, and it's much simpler in a way. It's only one mathematical uh, formula to, to be aware of, really, at least at the conceptual level. And it's this formula up here, X times Y equals K. Uh, and it's often called the constant product formula. So X and Y here are two different, uh, the two different currencies and the, the amount of currencies that you have sitting available inside of Uniswap. And so these two form what is called a liquidity pool. So there's one liquidity pool per asset pairs. So if you had US dollars and yen, you'd have a liquidity pool for that. And so let's take a specific example. Let's say you have 10,000 US dollars sitting inside this liquidity pool in Uniswap and you had 1 million yen sitting in that in that pool. So that means basically the rate is, you know, 1 US dollar to 100 um, yen. And so the key thing is that in order to get this K value, uh, you just have to multiply the amounts together. So you can see that over here to the right, there's X and Y uh, equals K. So 10,000 times 1 million equals 10 billion. 
Now, the key thing is that this k needs to be constant. So the trick is whenever someone, for example, puts US dollars into the pool, the amount of yen that is left needs to be such that the constant uh, k, well, it's still the same number. It's still 10 billion in this example. So what does it look like if we're putting in 100 US dollars that we want to exchange and we want to get out, get out some yen? How do you know how much yen you should get? What Uniswap does on the back end is basically it just does this calculation here. So there's an X value. Uh, so we don't have to go through all the math very, very uh, in detail. But basically, there's an X value here which describes, well, you know, how much do I have to subtract from this um, 1 million yen uh, such that when I multiply it with this new amount of dollars that was deposited, it still is equal to 10 billion. And, you know, this is pretty easy actually to work out. You can just kind of rearrange this equation and you end up with X being equal to 9,900.99 yen. So that's how much yen you would get out of Uniswap if you put in 100 USD, given this liquidity situation, given that you had $10,000 in it and 1 million yen. And so this is quite revolutionary because now you don't need someone to give you know their opinion or their manual input to set the price because the price is just a function it's just a mathematical function and so the the benefit of this is that anyone could become a liquidity provider so basically if i had some dollars and some yen i could deposit that into uniswap and i could let other people trade uh, those two currencies against each other and why would i do that well, I would do that because I then get a portion of the fees, the trading fees that get collected when people are making these swaps back and forth. And so down here to the left, right now uh, we have 0.3% fees. So that means effectively, uh, if you're making uh, a $10,000, actually, yeah, let's, let's say $10,000 uh, trade, that gives you uh, $30 worth of fees. Um, or you know, for $100, it would be 30 cents. And so you could do the exact same math, but now adding in this fee uh, structure, which basically means that this K number now will go up over time. So every time someone trades, the K value actually increases a little bit. And that means that there's more money in the pool. And as a liquidity provider, you own a proportion of that pool. So basically, every time someone makes that trade um, with Uniswap, you collect a little bit of fees together with all the other liquidity providers. And so, you know, if you if you want to think about this a bit more uh, geometrically, you could think of this x times y equals k formula uh, as this kind of chart. There's x here, the x-axis, and there's y here, and then the k is basically the the sort of curved line that goes through this. So for example, if someone puts in uh, more, let's say dollars, if that's the x-axis, it would move it up here on this axis, and then the other yen part would go down. So you're always moving a line, this moving along this curve. That's assuming no fees, because when you add fees, every time you trade, you're gonna make the line go a little bit up and to the right. So it basically bounces kind of upwards uh, as you go. So that maybe that's a little bit technical or, or conceptual, um, but that's that's effectively how it works. And so, as I said, there's swapping and then there's liquidity provisioning. And so what are some of the benefits then? Well, as I said, uh, this runs on Ethereum, which means it's uncensorable. No one can stop you from making trades on Uniswap. No one can stop you from providing liquidity on Uniswap because there, there are no gatekeepers. The only thing you need is an internet connection, an Ethereum uh, address, and a wallet interacting with that address, and some funds, and you're good to go. There's also nearly zero overhead. You know, as I mentioned before, you don't have to rent offices, you don't have to pay employees, and there aren't any compliance costs because it's a decentralized application. There's no single point to go to from a regulatory perspective. And then a third point, which maybe is not that obvious with the airport example, but there's no counterparty risk. So if you think about exchanges that are on the web, for example, typically you have to deposit funds into them if you're using like uh, stock trading um, 
exchange or if you're doing a crypt using a crypto exchange like coinbase or binance you have to deposit funds into those and in theory you don't really know if those exchanges will actually give you your money back they're custodying uh your funds with uniswap there's no custody because the trades happen immediately from your wallet and then in one atomic transaction the funds go out of your wallet and then you get the tokens that you swapped back in again so it's really a totally different way uh, of doing exchanges between different types of assets. So that's a bit more than 10 minutes. Um, hope you understand what Uniswap is and how it works now. Thanks for watching.